Hi guys, my name is Lucas, and today on Omnitech News, I'm going to show you guys how to create a high dynamic range image like this one using Photomatrix Pro. So to start off with, I'd just like to thank HDRsoft for sending me a key for Photomatrix Pro 3.2. Um, it's a great piece of software for developing high dynamic range photography, which is what I'm going to be talking about today, how to create your own high dynamic range photography, also known as HDR photography. And again, you're going to be needing Photomatrix Pro 3.2 or whatever version you happen to have installed on your computer. It comes in a 64-bit and a 32-bit version. The Pro Edition costs $99. You can get a free trial, but it does put a watermark on your image, so I would recommend picking up the full version of the software. So what you're going to be needing is some different images of the same thing and with the same camera angle, but you need to range the images from darkest to lightest. I have six images here. As you can see, they're ranging from darkest to lightest as far as you know the lighting goes. I have my exposure set lowest, and then as I gradually took the pictures, I set the exposure a little bit higher. Um, all you need is three, but I'm choosing to use six here just for this demonstration to provide a little bit better of a result. So what you're going to want to do now is open up Photomatrix Pro and hit Generate HDR Image. Now hit Browse and find the different files you have. I have mine saved to the desktop. You just select all of these here, hit Open, and OK. And now you've got some options. Uh, you can just go ahead and copy these down. It really depends on uh, what kind of effect you're trying to get. If you have digitally changed the exposure instead of taking multiple photos, um, you don't need to do the aligned source images um, or any of that, but if you did take all the photos uh, separately, then you do want to align the source images and use by correcting horizontal and vertical shifts as opposed to by matching features. You're also going to want to select reduce chromatic aberrations, reduce noise, attempt to reduce ghosting artifacts, and do background movements, uh, e.g. water or foliage and select normal here, don't select moving objects or people, and take tone curve of color profile, do that, neither of these. That's all you need to do for the generate HDR options, now I just hit OK and it will generate the HDR automatically, but then you do have to do some tweaking afterwards. So once Photomatrix Pro has generated your HDR image, it's not going to look quite as good as the, uh, the finished product, which I have right here. So what you're going to want to do after that is you're going to want to hit tone mapping over here so you can do some tweaking and make it look just as good as the finished product which I showed you just a second ago. So hit tone mapping and you'll get this sidebar here with a ton of different tweaking options as well as a histogram that will show you your uh, luminance, red, green, and blue values. So as you can see I actually have the uh, final image right here because I have the settings that are saved over here in my details enhancer. You can also use the tone compressor but I prefer to use the details enhancer uh, to kind of bring out that really uh, HDR-ish look. So you're gonna, you're gonna go in here uh, to your details enhancer and this is the part that I can't really tell you so much what to do, you're just going to have to kind of experiment. And you can copy down the, uh, the settings that I have, but again, depending on the photo that you took, it's going to be hard to, uh, to tell you exactly what settings to use. So just play around with it a little bit, see what kind of results you get, and experiment, see what you like. So I have strength set to 100, color saturation set to 100, luminosity set to 10, micro contrast set to 10, uh, smoothing is in light mode and I have it set to low. White point is set to 2.656. Black point is set to 0 0.559. Gamma is 2.00 or the lowest it can go. Temperature is 5.5. Saturation highlights 10. Saturation shadows 10. And now down here in miscellaneous settings I have 4.4 for micro smoothing. Highlight smoothness is set to 10, shadow smoothness is set to 85, shadows clipping is set to 0, and I do not have 360 image selected. So once you're done with all those settings, just go ahead and hit process, and this will essentially just process all of those tone mapping settings and uh, kind of create your finished image. So again, I have this right here, you just go in and hit file, save as, you can choose to either save as a 16-bit TIFF, an 8-bit TIFF, or a JPEG. And that's essentially it. You now have a high dynamic range image. So Photomatrix Pro is a great piece of software. As I said at the beginning of the video, you can buy it or download the free trial at hdrsoft.com. It's a great piece of software. Definitely recommend you buy it. 
Um, I we give it a nine out of ten, mainly because the interface is a little bit dull and it is quite expensive for uh, for what you're getting. Although you can produce some really cool effects with it, you have seen the interface throughout the course of this video, so you you do know it lacks a little bit. Um, and uh, it, it, do it doesn't really look that great. But overall, it's a good piece of software, and we definitely recommend you pick it up. So Photomatrix Pro from HDRsoft gets a 9 out of 10. We hope you enjoyed this video.